there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a couple of quick hauls. Um, and I know you're probably saying, well, Rose, why are you doing hauls before Black Friday and the Cyber Monday hauls? Well, I had a couple of reasons. One, um, there were still some absolutely great sales happening out there. Um, and two, you know, sometimes the Black Friday can be a little bit overwhelming in some of the stores uh, because they're so crowded and everybody's rushing for stuff that is usually on sale prior to Black Friday anyway. So I kind of dashed in and picked up a couple of things at Michael's and then I'll show you my online haul from scrapbook.com. So let's start out with Michael's. Um, and one of the other reasons I wanted to run into Michael's, everything, of course, is on sale. Um, and then I also had a couple of coupons and a rewards discount. So uh, I wanted to make sure I used the rewards coupon before it expired. So I picked up this little ribbon, celebrated ribbon, which I do like. And it's black and white check. I like that it's textured. And I like the width of this for... Um, my tag specifically, but um, just perfect, not just for Christmas time, but all year long. Um, I like to use this type of a um, sort of a black and white, almost buffalo check in my project. So I thought that was fun. And this came to, I think, under a dollar, regularly $3.99. So got that. Now this was the last one of the unfinished wood hearts. So you may have seen these in Michaels before. I think they're a great value when they're on sale. You get 50 pieces with the jute twine and um, they're just little thin um, unfinished wood pieces. And um, th this was the last package of hearts. They had a few snowflakes, a few ornaments, but I really like the hearts because, um, again, I, I can use them at Christmas time. I can use them for Valentine's Day, and hearts are good really all year long for projects. Um, it's fun to paint these. It's fun to decoupage them. You can fill in the hole and use them as embellishments, not just tags. So a lot of versatility in 50 pieces. And again, this was... Um, I think 50, 60% off, may, it may have been more than that. I can't, I can't recall, but uh, you get 50 pieces, so I thought it was great. And then also, you've seen me haul these little wood, DIY wood pieces before, wood tags. This is the first time I've seen the houses, and you know, I love these because not only do you get um, the great variety here, um, and it's 24 pieces in all, different style houses, and you also get the twine if you want to use them as tags, but also, I've talked about this before, I love these little cases. Um, these are fun to make little, you know, shadow boxes with and paint up. So, you know, it's kind of like a thin balsa wood, but again, it's great for, for various DIYs. And all the houses are fun to paint and glitter up. Um, again, houses, you can sort of use those all year long. They're not just for Christmas. So I like these and they were on sale as well, regularly $2.99. And then here's the little Christmas one where you get the snowflake, what looks like a gingerbread house, the little snowman, candy cane, gingerbread, and the little mitten. So I thought these were adorable. Um, and again, it's 24 pieces. Super fun. Love the case as well. So then also in the unfinished ornament section were these glazed ceramic snowflakes. You get six pieces here. I think this came to under $5, and I thought they were beautiful. Now, they're beautiful just as they are in white, but actually what I'm thinking about doing with these is some dot painting, um, and I like that for snowflakes because you sort of have a guide of the little flakes on the end, and they would be fun to... 
um, do some dot painting on. That was my thought with these. And again, they're beautiful just as is. If you're doing a snowy tree, a snowflake tree, a winter theme, these are beautiful ornaments. Ceramic um, for six pieces with the white ribbon. Um, I thought they were really, really pretty. And then my last item for Michael's, I said this Michael's one was a small haul, were these silver jingle bells. So silver bells, really adorable. And they do come on a little string, but these are great as um, vase fillers, which is what I will probably use them for. So I'll probably um, take the little string off and I have a clear um, vase that I like to put some vase filler in, but I think for this year, I'm gonna fill them with these beautiful jingle bells. So just adorable from Createology. And um, these are regularly $4.99. Again, I think they were 70% off. So a great deal, you get 12 pieces in all for these and they're a really nice size. So I got those jingle bells and that is everything for Michaels. So let's get into the scrapbook.com haul. Okay, so for scrapbook.com, of course, you know, when I go to scrapbook.com, I'm gonna get something Tim Holtz. That's the way that it, it's actually the law. I mean, it's not even my choice, but um, I'm a little late to the dance on this, but I'm just now getting the Distress watercolor pencils. I only got one set. I showed a little bit of restraint there. These are the Woodless Water Reactive Highly Pigmented Pencils. These are based on his Distress line, so the colors coordinate with Distress. I got set number one. Um, there are actually three. I got the first one for a number of reasons. Number one for set one was that um, the colors in this one are really, really beautiful. Now, I love all the distress colors, but um, this was really highly rated. And a lot of people that bought the set said they really were glad they got set number one. Now, set number one sold out very quickly, and then scrapbook.com just got it back in stock. They had a limited number. I got the email for it. Two and three, I think, are still sold out, which is the reason I got one and not two and three. But um, let's take a look at the back. They come in the tin, which I appreciate that because we don't have to buy another tin. Um, you get picked raspberry. You get fired brick, rusty hinge, mustard seed, peeled paint, salvaged patina, speckled egg, salty ocean, villainous potion, worth the price just for Villainous Potion. I'm a big fan of that beautiful purple. Walnut stain, black soot, and picket fence. So you get the black and white right off the bat, and Salty Ocean is also one of my favorites, as is Picked Raspberry. So, you know, this set is really great to start off with these. Um, I've seen some YouTubers um, review them um, and demo them and they really do look like fun. I watched Tim's demo. Um, so I'm very excited to try them out and um, that is why I got the watercolor pencils. They are fairly new. I think they might have been released last month but um, this is set one. Also new and I had to pick it up was Lumberjack Plaid. And I got the pad and the reanchor because I'm a reanchor person. When I buy a pad, I always buy the reanchor um, because there's nothing worse than using up a pad and then you're like, oh, I'm out of ink and I've got to finish this project. So I always get the reanchor. And the nice thing about scrapbook.com is they sell the distress in um, little bundles. So they bundle together a pad and a reanchor, which I appreciate, especially with a new pad. So the reason I did not get the oxide is because when I saw the demo of this, the color was truer with the distress as opposed to the oxide. So there's always conversation about people that love the oxides and I like the oxides too. However, 
I'm not getting them in every single pad. I have a lot of the oxides, but they are excellent for blending. But when you come down to the Distress Colors, um, the True Distress inks, the color is truer in the, in the Distress ink as opposed to the Oxide. The Oxides dry down a little differently um, and they tend to look a little bit lighter and chalkier, which that may be a look that you're going for. I like it too. Um, but in the case of a real red, um, which is what Lumberjack Plaid is, in my opinion. It's more of a nice Christmas red, blue red. Um, I wanted the, the Distress ink, and as I said, with the Distress, I get them all with the oxides. I'm a little bit more selective, so I picked that up. Now, Scrapbook.com did a demo on their Facebook page, and... Uh, they were also running a special during that demo for their Cloud Whip. Now, this is a mixed media modeling paste, and um, you get 12 ounces. Um, and they had a special price going on during their promotion. They demoed it, um, and it looked very interesting to me because it's a very creamy modeling paste. Um, that I'm anxious to use with my stencils. So I'm sort of getting into, you know, um, coming into what I call like a stencil season. I'm getting out my stencils that I haven't used in a while and I'm going to be creating with them and I wanted to try this Cloud Whip. So um, stay tuned to my channel because I'll be opening this up, testing it out, and doing some projects, and I'll show you um, what I think of it. But from what I saw on the demo of it, um, and you can probably check that out on scrapbook.com, it looked really great for a, a modeling paste. So I have a few modeling pastes. They're primarily the Distress line. I think I have maybe one from Dina, um, but most of them are distress, and so I wanted to try this. And you get a lot in here. Um, the whole trick with modeling paste is often being careful that it doesn't dry out before you use it all. So I'm going to be sure to cover this with um, that cling wrap after I open it, um, you know, so I seal it really well and it doesn't dry out because this is quite a lot and you don't want to waste it, and you often can't rehydrate it. So you have to be careful with modeling paste. It can be a little bit tricky, but that's what I'm going to be doing with that one, and I was anxious to give it a go, so uh, stay tuned for a demo and review of that. Now also new to me, but not new to scrapbook.com, is the mint tape. So there's a lot of talk about this mint tape being perfect with um, tacking down stencils, um, and I wanted to give it a try. Um, I have often used low-tack painter's tape, but sometimes when you pull that off, you do, you know, you can tear your cardstock if you're not super careful. And after you go through all that trouble, you really don't want any marks on your cardstock, and um so, you know, I kind of threw this in my basket and thought I'd give it a try. It wasn't terribly expensive, but you don't get a lot, um, and they don't have a super size roll. This is um, one of, I think, only two size rolls that they have. So I thought I would give it a go, and again, uh, since I'll be doing some stenciling, I'll give a review of this as well. And then I also thought I would give a try to the Pixie Spray. Now, I've uh, seen some demos on this as well. This is the Light Tack Repositionable Adhesive for Stencils. So you spray your stencil on the back and you don't have to use any tape at all. So, um, you know, this looks kind of convenient. I don't know how well it cleans off the stencil, but... Um, from what I have seen on the various demos that I've seen, it does look like it sticks really well, which would prevent the ink from, you know, seeping underneath your, your stencil if you're using inks. Um, so 
a pixie spray and this is 3.81 ounces and I thought I would give that a try as well. And then I picked up this paste tool set. You get three pieces in here. This is from Ranger and Simon Hurley. Let me open this up and we'll take a look at these. So this is the Ranger Simon Hurley uh, tool set for using with modeling pastes or um, with his lunar paste, I guess, for stencils. Um, so you get one palette knife and two scrapers, and the scrapers are the same size. They have a little hole if you want to add them to your pegboard or a ring so that you don't lose them somewhere in your craft room. They, they're pretty good size, and they feel firm. Uh, they're not flexy at all. Um, so, you know, typically I will use like, a, you know, an old... Uh, gift card, but um, this gives you a lot more uh, room to spread on your larger stencil specifically, so um, I picked up that little collection as well. So finally, if you've shopped with scrapbook.com, um, you know that they often will have freebies that you can add to your card, and they'll just send out products for free. Um, it's a great promotion and a way for you to try something that you haven't tried before. So um, the day that I ordered, this was one of the freebies, and it is Catherine Pooler ink. This is premium dye ink, and Uptown is the color, and we'll open it up and take a look. Now, I'm familiar with Catherine Pooler, but I have never tried her inks, so um, I can't speak to the quality or consistency, but we'll open it up and take a closer look at the color. Um, it looks like a dark teal from the packaging, so let's take a look. Okay, so this is its premium dye ink. This quick drying, non-permanent dye ink gives amazing coverage and gorgeous stamped images on coated and uncoated cardstock. So it says it's available in a variety, um, an exclusive rainbow of colors by Catherine Pooler Designs. So let's take a look at this one, made in the USA. It's Uptown. Here's a little ink transfer there on the lid, so you can see that the color is pretty vibrant. I just have a basic dauber here. Okay, so here's an indication of the color. Um, it is a um, bluish teal color. There is some green in there, but um, you know, it's primarily a blue. It's a very juicy pad. So you can see I got some on my fingers just from doing the swatch, but um, it's very pretty. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it on projects. I have a few, um, other brands, but I've never tried the Catherine Pooler, so uh, that was a nice free one to try out. And then the other freebie that I got from scrapbook.com was this sampler set from Colorista, who is from Spectrum Noir. So it's a sampler set. It says discover and explore a world of color mixed selection. So you get a glitter marker, an art marker, and a metallic marker, which I think is nice to try out. And the colors are Moonlit Silver for the glitter marker, Tea Rose for the art marker, and a metallic marker in gold. It says for a shimmering pearlescent color. So here's a look at the three markers. You get the art marker in Tea Rose, the glitter marker in Moonlit Silver, and the metallic marker in gold. So let's try them out and see how well they write. And uh, we'll start out with the art marker in Tea Rose. So it has a brush tip there, double-sided, and the what looks like a little bullet tip on the other side. And it is in tea rose, which appears to be a soft peachy pink. We'll start with the brush marker side, and we'll see how that writes. 
And that's a look at it there. And um, very pretty, very soft color, soft peachy pink. And we'll try the bullet tip. And that's how that looks. Very nice. You hear that good click to know that the marker is, is sealed well and won't dry out. Let's try the glitter marker next. I love a glitter marker. This is in Moonlit Silver. It's a good idea to shake these markers um, and make sure that the ink or paint gets right to the bottom of the barrel so it comes out easily. Let's try this one. Now oh, that's a really pretty silver glitter. Hopefully you can see some of the glitter there. Very nice. I like the quality of Spectrum Noir markers. I've, I've had them in the past, um, not these in particular, but my probably my only thing that I struggle with is that a lot of times the lids are very tough with uh, removing the lids from these markers and probably because they want to have that really good seal so they don't dry out. But um, if you have any dexterity problems, that may be a little bit of a struggle for you with Spectrum Noir. But other than that, they're very good quality markers, in my opinion. Now we'll try the metallic marker and this is in gold. And this is really pretty as well. Very nice sheen to that. Uh, I like a gold metallic marker, um, particularly at Christmas time when you're signing cards. Um, that's a very uh, fun one. It's got a little bit of um, green to the gold, but um, it is gold. And that is the Colorista by Spectrum Noir metallic marker in gold. In the glitter marker in Moonlit Silver and the art marker with the double barrel, and that is in T Rose. So, so that was another freebie from scrapbook.com, and that is everything from my scrapbook.com and Michael's Hall. I hope you enjoyed taking a look. If you're new to my channel, I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button. If you have any questions about the products that I've shown, then please leave a comment down below, and I'll be happy to get back to you on that. And stay tuned to my channel. I'll be demonstrating some of the um, Pixie Spray, the Cloud Whip, the Mint Tape, um, and the Distress Ink, so we can take a look at those as well. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.